also kind of wish it would save on our own. Let's try again. I don't know, maybe the hair is just not good for solo. These are the character stats. Ooh, that's pretty nice. More stamina. What are the pony from the prince? I guess I don't know. I just like playing solo? I don't know. That's the point for me. Finally, use a trap. Um, well, that would be nice with someone, I guess. But we'll pass. Yeah, we might have to do um, a good party run at some point. But even then, I feel like the prince is still gonna be rough. Guess we dodge. I mean, we would have blocked enough, but... Oh yeah, they move. I should just... Should have just put down traps, actually. Oh no, we don't have enough roll EP, don't we? Oh, well, that's fine. Baron wolves are best for solo. Um, I did well with the weasel too. Because you, at least you can convert the will to damage whenever you want. Um, I haven't tried the wolves yet so much. Maybe we'll try that next. If I had more energy, I might try that, but right now that seems a bit expensive. <laughs> because I also have no way to go to the back ramp, so... Um, we don't have enough will to get multiple of those. I guess we're good. The nine damage to target's rank. If enemy has bleed, apply 16 crippled. Oh, that's pretty nice. Start of every turn, gain two overwhelm and two stamina. Oh, that's a lot of extra damage you take. Yeah, no thanks. I guess rake it is. So we need a way to apply poison, uh, bleed, and then we get a lot of that. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think we can take this fight yet. We'll try the heavy patrol. Even that, I'm not sure. Uh, it might be. Deal 20 damage to it. We need, um, we need a weapon that attacks the whole rank and puts bleed on them, like the helper or something. I guess it's time to... dodge. Oh. For some reason I thought he would die. Oh, not, oh, I should stay in the form, front rank for the Vanguard, yeah. I did bless them to cut that. Like that. I 
There we go. I mean, we're doing better in these early fights at least. Damage, well, and the. Oh, I could kick him, although he doesn't do anything. Then maybe we can kill him last next turn. I didn't miscalculate, that would have been awkward. I did like the quick hands, but again, we don't have enough stamina yet for it, I think. Ooh, we could take the dagger for to apply some Oh, if target is crippled, duck full damage. But the only way we can cripple for now is if they're already bleeding, so I guess we go with the dagger. Also helps with them if we get any buffs. Um, any charge buffs, I guess. Could try this fight, but um, Bard is scared. Other options aren't great, though. Never tried what if how decoy actually works. Oh, ah. I guess I do get a bit longer. I'm not really sure that's worth it most times. Okay, 5 times 3 is not bad. We'll keep the superior heavy armor for later on. Right now I'm quite happy with the superior light armor. That will give us more... more energy. I'm gonna do this. Um, get rid of the card. Yeah, I, I've seen some weapons that attack the whole rank, and one of them also puts bleed on everyone, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Sort of a strike. But I also need to have enough block for now. Gem. Oh, one stomach draws three cards. I don't know if there's anything where I want that from. Maybe a strike. We did get more stamina now. Like the search party. Hmm. Well, I don't have any block. Like, the, applying the cripple doesn't do much for it either, does it? Oh, well, kill this one. At least we, um... Don't take damage. Actually, I could raid. You'll die. Take care of the other ones next turn. Well, I was hoping for a kick, but never mind. We can kill one that's good enough. I could have gotten more block with the shield, actually. Huh? Nice. Up 
take damage there. I feel like the red powder is still good. I'll still get that. Hope for a good passive, come on. Never this character gains block plus five block. That's not bad. Or we take damage toxic. Uh huh. The fanatic on a bear could be decent because you can just remove it then. Like if you play solo bear. Yeah, I guess we'll get more block when we get block. Twenty five percent damage bonus seems good. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, it's not like something directly related to the bleed stuff we wanted, but yeah. Oh, we could get another one of those actually. How much for going for a movement cripple build? I mean, I could also take the vulnerable. Because we already have one red powder, right? Then again, with two red powders, we might not need the vulnerable anyway. Yeah, let's go big. Well, I want the potential loot here, so we take the damage. 11 damage if opponent has no block, apply 5 bleed. Isn't that a just straight up worse than our dagger? Right, we deal 12 damage. It's a multi attack, meaning we get bonus damage if we have charge. And we apply the bleed anyway. See if you can buy anything nice. Oh uh, no. It seems to be hard to go for a specific build now. Well this is a bit awkward now. Decent AoE damage though. This better with weapon damage cards? Oh, true. That's true. That is very true. We're looking for the dual wheel daggers. Oh, this time we're not getting the daggers that get a bonus for dual wielding. Great sword would hit everyone. I guess with the red powder, like if you draw the red powder and then the great sword together. The only issue is we don't have any bleed for our apply cripple thing yet. If we do that. And well, we lose a lot of block too. We're not having the shield. Yeah, I think we'll pass for now. Merchant. I don't know what the cultists wears wears are, to be honest. Oh, there's another one. 
and bow. I was hoping for the short bow so we could use the movement stuff. Look at that juicy backline. We'll still need to attack them next turn. Uh, would it be nice if we draw through the um, black powder? Add yeah, a red powder. Do a lot of small attacks, I guess. Well, the hope was I would draw my kick, but I guess. Oh, did. Oh, did I draw my kick in the first one? I thought I didn't draw it, my bad. We won a life, so... Yeah, um, I just didn't want to win it. I thought we would be fine anyway, but... I, I thought about leaving one alive. Maybe we can use a trap. I'm not getting anything for a crippled build though. <laughs> but that was the plan. Like I'm get I'm having everything else now. Except for the rake, which is kind of useless. could get this to spread vulnerable afterwards, but... I'm with Brace. Like, it might save us some heavy attacks. Hmm. It is still decent damage with the red power, yeah, that's true. No, I think that's good. Maybe we get something nice now. Character has no block, deal 5 damage, and blight 3 bleed to turn its ring. Okay. We should never have no block, though. Does this use. Well, I guess we want the better. We'll switch weapons and take this. Or well, whenever we find weapons. I guess it is decided. I don't know how we'll do blocking then, though. Like, that's the... Hmm. I might have to switch to heavy armor, actually. Working with death, I'm not too fond of that. I mean, we could get some max health, I guess. How much? Problem is, I don't have that much stamina yet. Do I have... Um, just heavy armor and not superior? No. Ooh. One-handed higher damage? Yeah. I mean, now I would take the other one-handed we have. I'll actually still try it, though. We'll commit to see how that feels. Well, I guess the kick is too valuable to pass up. 
I should have used the trap. And yeah, like we're a lot tankier this way. No weapon damage, plus two damage for every card in hand. So it would be eight, right? I mean, I guess now it's we'll kill anyway. I mean, that doesn't feel too bad, actually. So yeah, maybe we can get a two-hander. Oh, we could take this too. With the heavy armor, so we always get some healing. I like the calculating strikes too, though. But we'll take this for now. Let's go for the altar. Which gives us more vitality and not the downside. Interesting. That was just straight up better. Put a trap here. I wonder if he... Does he take increased damage from the trap? No. Too bad. to save the multi-tech rush for the other one that was just terrible take glass because of my aoe trust that's a good point yeah i do have i guess i'm not used to having such, so much aoe but that's a good point it's a very good point actually oh he does apply please oh no then we can Oh, this, oh, I forgot this costs will. I need to, yeah, use my traps less then. Hmm, actually, I can't deal enough damage. Different order it might have, if I uh, used it differently. It might have. Next time. Go with the flow again. Wait, what are my talents? I mean, I guess it's still better. And we could get a bit tanky with bloodthirsty, I guess. That might help us against the prince if we have more health and then get one shot right away. Then again, we save a lot of stamina with this. There's no attack that scales with your health, right? It's the unfortunate thing. We'll try it. I've never had it, but I I think the slow is better, but at a flow, but I want to try it. Then you know how vulnerable and overwhelmed snake? Uh, nope. 
unfortunately, I don't know. Also, sometimes the game seems buggy for some calculation, so I don't know if the interaction... I feel like they could... Could be an issue there. I would assume it's just additive and not multiplicative, but... We'll, we don't have enough product or pop flow to be useful yet. some healing. Actually, I guess I shouldn't kick, kill the guy. So we, um, yeah, heal a bit. Then again, we can also just do it next fight. Weapon damage and apply one ohm over. Dual wielding is one. I mean, we could, yeah, we could try to go around weapon damage and just forget the crippled part build. <laughs> hmm. It's just one overwhelm, though. Or we could go for the overbearing swing, actually. We just need a big two-hander. Maybe that's better. Try to find a two-hander and then, yeah, go with that. Two of them if I pick up a falcon too. Yeah. yeah. Let's try this. Let's try to find a good one hinder and go with that. Well, I guess two good one hinders. I don't know which weapon damage it takes um, if you have two one hinders. If you dual wield. Like, does it take the lower one, the first equip? Does it add them? I think I've never dual wielded. There's a lot of, a lot of questions. And we also need to survive the next fight, I guess. Oh, we could take another challenge, actually. Maybe. It's a bit early, but I, I guess I don't know how often I'll find them, so... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't think the uh, Overwhelm is added to the attack itself. No, I don't think so. Oh, we got this guy. That's fine. Again, most times I get, I've seen the spitter like once or twice, I think. Maybe twice. AOE. 
Jesus. Hit my block. Wait, it could be a rogue armor that could be actually pretty neat, because... I guess it would apply 8 with our passive 8 armor every time then, right? you away. Oh, I should have AoE'd first. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not much damage. Five damage we missed. I'm alive, so the alternate attacking appears. Actually, I don't know if this is... he does bleed, but I guess it's not worthwhile keeping him alive. If the bleed is worse than the boss does. Because we have enough block anyway. I don't know if the boss adds bleeding to it somehow. I guess strategy is what I initially wanted, but I don't know if it's still good. Like, we're not moving much. I don't... I'm not gonna get a weapon for moving, so... Yeah, I guess... I guess we changed our plan. Let's see if we... what we can get here. Oh, damn it, no weapon. Will be moved in the late game. That's true, but like it's not that much that we get then. Like we kick an enemy occasionally, but I guess the question is do I still wanna go for it or not? Um I don't know if you don't you really use it, I guess. Like, it's still another card you're not drawing. Like, that's the thing to me. Yeah, it's like power uses, but not all powers are worth picking up all the time. Like, that's the thing. If it takes you too long, like, take the, the prince again. If he kills us in two turns, it doesn't matter if I pick this power if I'm dead. Like, that's, that's my issue. And we might feel, maybe we still find something to move. Like, we still apply the cripple too. Maybe we get something good here. One turn, if this character is moved by an opponent, movement is blocked. Attacker moves, swaps in lane, and gains a... Well, that's terrible. Like, that's so rare that they move me. And I don't want to modify my traps. Because we're not using them. I might take that just to try it, but yeah. Then again, I guess it's counterproductive to what we're doing to like we want we want to be moved actually. Hmm, I think I'm gonna forfeit it actually. The 
sad day, but that's what we're gonna do. Biggest downside is we can't um, can't change it now. I think if you get the perfect cards combos, you might be able to beat him. I don't know. I don't think we will do it this run, but I don't think... I wouldn't say it's impossible yet. There's a lot of sub-ideal things we already have. Oh yeah, we have the challenge thing. Not gonna use that much. Well, not yet at least. Yeah, I guess I could get rid of the withdraw now too. But we're using the will usually to heal us a bit. Yeah, the talents are sometimes a bit disappointing, to be honest. Withdraw plus five charge. Yeah, but it costs me one will. And usually I use the will to get some regeneration to counter bleeds that we get. Like that's kind of the issue. If it didn't cost will, then yeah, I would like it actually. Well, I guess we don't need to do that. Oh yeah, I guess moving them is actually damage too now. Bloodthirsty stacks with... Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's, that's a good point. Hang on one second. Yes, we heal. And stop, right? Well, look at your weapon for 500, which is way overpriced. But, well, it's not a... Not a one-hander. So we won't take it. Uh, so we do the battle first and then the prisoners. Just dodge here. And we got uh, some charge. Okay, 
decent amount of damage. Having a 200 HP weasel helps a lot. <laughs> I suppose that would be helpful, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is a lot of HP will give us extra time to get the kill in. We need more card draw soon. Too. In your realms, it stays for two turns. Yeah, I still forget about it sometimes, but that it's really nice if you do that. Which makes the Overwhelm way better than I thought. Because you usually get some use out of it. I don't think that's really good, to be honest. Since we're dual, maybe with a two-hander. Even then, no. That's not so good. We have to do the prisoners. And then we might do the elite fight. Should do the strike first, actually. Yes, I should get the kill again, huh? Then I wish it would keep track on who put the bleed on and yeah, proc things from that too. Well, let's counter the bleed, I guess. Stacks come from multiple sources? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I, I guess I, I know that's why they don't do it, but it seems, I mean, they could still, um, like, track the bleeds from each character, and then you might still get lucky or unlucky, depending on the order or something, but... I don't know what the best solution would be, to be honest. Could have done that better, but... But it just... It's a bit unfortunate that, like, if you go for a bleed build, a lot of things just don't work for you. Or you get punished for it. Well, we can get another red powder, I guess. Sure. Um, that would be discard. Doesn't seem great. Now we we ruin a current, which we don't really do. All stacks of oh, that's the only yeah, that's good. We'll take that.
Well, we don't need, need to heal anymore now, do we? Must well just, yeah, get healed by bleeding. I think another issue is like some builds need some specific passives. If you don't get them like on the first, you can't build around it either. Good move here. Touch some things, get them charged. One card draw. I'm definitely not having the build I set out to do. Oh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you need to be flexible, I guess, with these games. Okay. Mm, no. I mean, invigorating, like, we can achieve that with the power draw quite a few times. I really need more hard draw then, though. Maybe we'll find it somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't have enough card draw. I think that's our biggest issue right now. Okay, we'll swap positions with those, won't we? Decent AoE damage. Oh, we're still not dual building. Yeah, but I, I mean, I guess I'd rather kill one. Save the challenge. If we move them, we can actually keep the overall map to longer too. Interestingly enough. 
How much overwhelm do you want on a, an enemy? The answer is yes. Oh, that would've been nice, no? Actually, the rush doesn't make sense. We'll get more poison than real deal damage. for health, that's not too bad already. I'm getting there. Should we start with less armor to start? And I guess our healing card is less useful. It is plus eight per card, yeah. Well, we, I just I just need more card draw. Like with more card draw, it would be quite nice. Oh, we can get another challenge. Preparing for the the later fights. I don't know who has which card, so we just pick a random one. Those are not what I want. My yeah, my talents aren't that great that I want to draw them faster. Especially since it can still be a dead card. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Wait. We we have the unholy passive already. Is the weapon a one hand there, or was it a two hand? So we, we could take this, since we have the unholy talent, right? I don't know. It might be better to get the weapon though. I don't know if the weapon was one hand or two hand, so depending on that, it might be good or bad for us. No challenge in here. Tickle is one hand. Oh, well, that, that's gonna be crazy. 
actually, because it's going to heal us passively too. Like, that's going to be insane. Good. Oh, I guess I want to kill him actually for the... I don't know, does this does deal more damage? Nice. Which now that we, it may, um, yeah, getting the extra health is really nice too. Because it gives us a buffer that we can heal back up. Um, I don't want to attack because we might kill him with bleed then. He says and draws terrible cards anyway. Still don't want to do that, don't we? Okay, let's see. Sword, gain for bleed, deal 12 damage to opponent, and apply. We can put that here. And I guess this here. And we have this as a passive already, so we don't need the armor. I do have one second wind. When do I when do I lose stamina? That I would need that. Wait, it refunds the next card blade. Oh, okay. It doesn't anymore. Well, that would be insane then, yeah. No, then I don't want it. Wait, can I play a two stamina card after this or no? <laughs> For free. I assumed it's just if we have winded or the enemy heals it. I can, so it's a good thing to pick it up. Now. Oh. Yeah, I guess... There's no reason to not pick this than ever. Clearly I misunderstood that. Oh, was, oh so the rework is that it works that way now. Okay. Seems insanely good though. Black markets I have some good things sometimes, so let's go there. Uh, I guess we get random upgrade tokens. You play it and you have zero stamina. True. Uh, okay. Um, we don't want this one. Like, we don't want extra stamina cost, but I guess we get the heal. I don't even know when I want to do that. I guess we usually always play the red powder. Okay. Well, Burrows the Weasel of Death. Oh, the Hair of Death. This is Sickle. Oh, those guys.
Can you even move if you're under this? I don't even know. I mean, let's do this. Oh, I didn't have the buff yet that we oh well this was useless then. Yeah, I would like to get rid of the well rested now. That's that's a dead card for us. Unfortunately. Missing the overwhelm in the back row. Yeah, I I guess if like if it, the fight I'm sure we're gonna win the fight without taking damage. <laughs> I'm not paying too much attention to me fair, but yeah, I should use the overwhelm better. I should create good habits because I'll forget about it when, when it actually matters. Oh. Hmm, I think we skip. Like the experience strike was not good enough last time. Great sword. We could pick the sword instead of the dagger. I mean, we're not doing that. We don't have that much charge. I think we stay with what we have. Come on, something good. I think that's just a forfeit again. Like we don't have an ally. If we had an ally, that could be actually neat. Like to draw two cards, get some block. Yeah, but even hard and string, like, if we were moving the enemy a lot, then yes, but we're not moving them a lot, so it's basically four bleed for two, which is terrible. So, yeah. I think I'm messing the crossroads up again. Sickle is really nice damage, like for a one hand. I mean, I guess you do get the bleed debuff, so you only can use it with with the right things, but still. Here's a good challenge first. Why not use withdraw? I don't know, because it costs me a will. In case I want to use the will for something else. We only have the one, after all. Yeah, I mean, in the other run, we reduced the will cost, so it was fine then. Like, at least now, if we move, we would get some charge, so it might be worth it. But 
didn't kill him? Oh, my bad. On a, yeah, I don't know. The Vist draw doesn't seem good enough for it to cost Will, to be honest. I, I would like to play a bit more, I guess, but yeah. Oh, I didn't want to play that. There goes the will. <laughs> Used it well. I really do need draw, yeah. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure if we kill him. Let's not. Because otherwise the bleed would have killed him. There must be finally a way to move enemies, but uh, I said we pass. Well, let's do that. Wrong order of Decker and Ray. Why is it wrong order? Oh, so the thing applies, yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. The crippled applies to me. I mean, they apply bleed, which we don't care about. do this first for the cost. See what we get. Well, we can challenge a lot. <laughs> it's gonna get useful soon. Soon. that guy. Deal 5 damage to him. I guess it... I don't know if the damage gets increased. No. Oh, I think I tested it before. I mean, we could have kept him alive, but it does not matter. I don't think the strategy was worth it so far. Wait, he didn't die? Oh no. Oh. Oh. It's unfortunate. Get some card removal, that would be nice too. Because we have that cards, that's the other issue. Like we need card draw and we need to remove some cards. I think that would both be good. Ah, see that that's what I was uh, talking about before. Like the halberd and then our other weapon. Then you can get a lot of crippled. Like, that's the combo I wanted. And then move the enemies around. But we're not changing what we have now. Like, it's too late. Too little, too late. Yeah, no thanks. Come on, card draw. I don't think weapon cares. Like, there's nothing we really want from that, right? Let's see, buy cards. 
Remember seems like yeah, that too. I mean. I wonder if that is good. I I guess we don't apply enough B to us though, right? Because it disappears right away. So I'd say no. Like we would need to draw this the same turn we get the pickle. And then we could use it. Yeah, we would. I mean, if it had taken the injuries from the from the event and not the weapon, then we had one of those. And then, but you need a small deck, which we didn't have at that point. So, unfortunate. Ooh, a chance to offload. Nice. Remove a card. Yes. Oh. Which one though? Um, well, the well rested is useless pretty much. The withdraw is nearly useless, but I guess it's still better. I think we'll remove the well rested. But we still, we might maybe find a gem and make this free, then it's actually useful, but yeah. Don't see that getting back in our deck. I mean, we usually have stamina, I guess. But yeah. Crazy Weasel will give us something good. Oh, we can transform there, right? Well, I might get rid of this too. Like, at least the other cards have a use. I mean, I kind of have too much stamina right now. Like, I wish I had more card draw. Well, we get the second win. I'm, I'm not hoping for it. Ooh, remove cards. Well, things are getting a bit better. Forfeit a talent. Well, no thanks. Or do we? No, I mean, they're not great, but I'd rather get rid of strikes. Or block. I mean, playing any card gives us 8 block, right? Already. Let's say definitely one strike. If I remove a card that has the upgrade token right now, do we lose the upgrade token? I don't want to lose the card draw. I forgot to remove it beforehand. I guess we remove a, a guard just to be safe. I don't know what the blessings from the priest are. Let's augment our party beforehand. Let's gain a random upgrade token. Oh, now we get the minus one will cost. Of course. Now it would be useful, the withdraw. After I just removed it. <laughs> oh. Maybe we find another one. And <laughs> can take it back. I wonder if I... Maybe I should move the card draw from the strike to one of the red powders, actually. I think I like that more. Now that we have a lot of stamina anyway. Wait, why did the priest disappear? It said two turns. Oh. I thought it said two turns. Oh. I'll bet it is then. Troll game. Yes. Was my only will think? 
Yeah, but I mean, it's still a dead card for 95% of the time, even more. It doesn't seem worth it to me. Well, I don't care about Lee. Might go for those in the front, actually, even though they die maybe easier. Oh, actually, I should have challenged. I realized it just fell nearly in time. still be better. Oh, that's not... Uh, that, yeah, he shouldn't die to bleed. Okay, we have 200 health. Is that max or did we just perfectly hit 200 health? It's not max, okay. Yeah, having a lot of health is actually going to be really nice for the Prince. It increases our survival chances. I don't think we're going to survive, but... Wait, if I tank... Oh, he'll die to bleed, won't he? Let's not do that. Let's take it much higher. Clearly. I wonder what the max is then. Maybe 999 or something. We still need card draw cards though. We have eight overwhelm. I suppose anything goes. Here. I think we pass here. Like, the tension could be decent still. But, yeah. It's another card that doesn't deal damage and draw, doesn't draw. Well, let's investigate this. three skills. Do I want to rune anything? I don't think so. No, rune makes them worse. Um, I guess we... I also forget to challenge. Yeah. So actually, I don't want to we'll get more damage this way. Killing one of them first turn, I'm okay. I 
mean, I also like the amount of block we're getting thanks to the rope's armor. Like, that's actually pretty neat, too. I should have done second wind first, obviously. I mean, if you have a few cards that give you preparation, it just stacks up and then slowly ticks down and then it's... You have more than enough card draw. Well, at least you draw 10 at the start of your turn. Like, that's what we would need. Unfortunately. We don't get that. We need at least one more card for that. Probably more. Invigorating is free and gives two stamina, you can potentially go infinite. Oh, yeah, true. You could go infinite, I guess, with the right cards, true. You need a small enough deck or a way to banish things, though. At least some damage. I forgot about him not taking damage from those damage, though. Like... That would have been good for, yeah, the cripple build too, but we're not doing that, so. Yeah, tensions again. If I had card draw, I think I would take it, actually. Tensions garbage? Hmm. I mean, it gives us vulnerable, which is a bit, I mean, decent damage. I don't want chains yet. Last fight are all wolves. Oh, I, I guess I did not pay attention to that. I'm on card draw. Or not. I guess the only one I would consider is the pink powder. Maybe wildfire? Four damage to the party? That seems terrible. Like for a three cost for four damage? Like, that's our red powder? With less damage and doesn't apply overwhelm and costs two more stamina. That seems way worse. I guess it's the whole party and not just one lane, but yeah. No thanks. Like, I'd, I'd rather pink pick this. This is, I think, way better than Wildfire. AoE after red powder. Yeah, but I mean, I even then I'd still rather pick the pink powder. Okay, well, this guy, yeah. What did you do? Oh, the shockwave thing. Ah, that demoralized me to take care of you. Oh, you can do this. First one. And then challenge your armor. Yeah, the powder is really good. Maybe I should have taken the pink powder too. Um, yeah, I guess I don't like the demoralize. Otherwise, this one's not too bad. Maybe go for the kill. I mean, heal. Oh, heal. Fail steal. My god.
Oh, that's the second ring. Actually, I was not here. Outside them moving me does not seem as bad anymore. Get rid of momentum. Play the dagger, he'll destroy one weapon. I guess I don't want that. And then we can get rid of that. Oh. I mean, I guess he's dead anyway, right? Yeah, I changed my mind for the kill order, I guess. the guard. How oh, terrible. I guess I don't want to lose. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We should die before we run out of things. Just want to get the killing blow and that should be. Well, no thanks. I don't think there's gear we really want. Yeah. Be happy with what we have, if you wise. Oh, yeah, that was a boss. Well, I guess we get rich. That'll actually hurt us. Yeah, I never run into yeah, gold issues unless sometimes you can't buy all the characters you want. I wish they had some better cards, like rare cards, and then they would be more expensive or something too. Oh. I guess we still get the kill here. Actually, the retaliation sucks a bit here. Just heal up too, so it's not an issue. I think it would be. I didn't want to do the math, I was hoping it would kill. Yeah, 
I uh, order, I know. I know. True, a second wind gives us eight armor too, yeah. I mean, like, I take more second wins now that I know that it works differently than I thought. That does not seem great though. Definitely take more of those. Wait, Go here. Maybe we can get a good skill or something. Ooh, draw one card and gain three preparation. That's something we need. There we go. Um, I guess we want some chains for the event thing. I need to heal. I forgot what that did. I don't think it was good, right? we still get to you know kill enemies I guess the one downside with the rogue armor is we don't start with block so having a lot of health is neat too for that gives us a bit of time to you know get started what does this do? Oh, whenever I move. Okay. Well, I don't move a lot, do I? I probably should still play the chains just to get some armor. I made it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the enemy is helping me. They're like, oh, this guy. He's terrible. Really needs some. get to the warden and the, the prince i think because i'm wasting sometimes cards because i'm like it this should kill it maybe but yeah. I really wish there was a card that scaled with our health. That would be really nice. Like deal 50% of your health as damage or something. That would be amazing. No need to play the blocks, I mean, blocking it up anyway. tempted to take the brace because it'll take one or two big tanks off of us. Well, none of those are great. What do they do? Oh, they get the lane control. There's a town that sacrifices like half of current HP for Ali region. Yeah, can you... Have you tried if you can put it on yourself? 
Because you would heal more than you take damage, right? So it could be helpful. Only on allies? Ah. Unfortunate then. I think, yeah, if we even get to have a chance in the final fight, we need to be a bit lucky with which card we draw at the start. Oh, we ran, we ran out of... Oh, I should have played the second one. Out of energy. I'm not used to that. Um, yeah, a lot of them say ally, and I assume it's on it's literally only the allies, but... Sequencing, I know, I know. Again, we'll, we'll pay more attention soon. <laughs> Hopefully. Well, we have enough, like, now... Once the fight is a bit going, I have enough card draw. Now, now we're drawing six at a time, meaning I get my card draw usually fast enough back to to increase it again. So once we get going, um, I guess I don't want to kill him so he doesn't or hurt him too much so he doesn't die too quick. We could get the withdraw back now, because we still have the gem to reduce it. Like, we can swap, we can evade a decent amount of things with that, I guess. It might be good. I had enough this moment. Yeah, I did. I just didn't want to do the math. Or take smash. Yeah. I do have challenge and kind of go off. That's true. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could maybe get a kill here or there. True. I like. Hmm. I like the idea of both now, actually. I'm gonna go with the withdraw. I wanna to try to hope for some dodges. Uh, I need to put the reduced will cost on it though. Don't you mean anyway if Smash would deal enough damage to be bursted? Um not necessarily. So we have, um, hang on, where's my deck? We have, where is it? Challenge somewhere. I don't know where, I don't see it. Don't we, we have challenge, right? Yeah, here. So we can copy an enemy's block. Um, so in the last fight, there are some enemies that have like 100 or 120 armor. So you can waste all your armor for a lot of damage and then copy their armor back. So you're still safe. Top row, yeah, I guess they are true. So you can do a good amount of damage and still be tanky enough. But you need a specific build where it works. Like it doesn't work with everything, I would say. I think it could work for us, um, get some decent damage out of it. For most builds, I wouldn't pick it though. Like, if you don't have the challenge, then I would never pick that. 
And you, yeah, you need enough card draw to draw them in the same turn or multiple challenges. So your chances that you draw it in the same turn. Ah, I should have picked the smash because now we could get the withdraw. Is our challenge? Yeah, I think it's our challenge is just to win more. Well, who would have known? Let's get a gem. Ooh, apply three bleed. Oh, you can you can put that on the. Wait, we want that on one of the red powders. Move that from you. The powder apply bleed too. Nice. And then, I guess the second wind could heal. Troll game lead, yes. Yes. Sell equipment. No. Oh, remove one skill. What do we want to remove? I guess we could still remove a guard, actually, yeah. Or the strike. Wait, what did we have on the strike? I think didn't we put something on it earlier? Upgraded. Oh, I removed that. Okay, so we can remove the strike. Comets have card rewards. Yeah. But removing a card, I usually find really valuable, so. Modified talents. I don't know what that means. Like, can we swap a talent? Would we want to swap a talent? We could try to change the rake. Like, the rake is not great. Then again, like, I feel like the hair just doesn't have many good talents. So I don't know what I would be hoping for. If we change it. And I guess we do get the cripple on it now with that we have the AOE bleed on the other on the So if the enemy swap a bit around, yeah, I guess we could just keep it. Can only get worse. Hmm. So I yeah. I assume this is just changing a talent, so we'll go for a combat. Oh we, we can dodge now. Wait, don't they move back? Oh yeah, we could have put a trap down. Look at that. Could have had a useful trap for once. Oh. Order, I know. Actually, a lot of um, poison we're getting. I guess it's also retaliating on us, but.
with our dodge skills. I mean, we do get um, charged for it too. Oh, I guess I should have used it with the rush, huh? Playing chains plus block was more block? Probably. <laughs> true, we get, we get eight and then, yeah, so true. True. There's another second wind. I mean, deep strikes isn't too bad either, to be honest. I think I'd rather get the second win still. Like we're level 8, right? So that's... Yeah. 32 damage? No, 36. Yeah, deep strike is is pretty tight like it's a lot of damage especially if we get the um powder on someone no it's within, if the opponent isn't back rank deal four damage plus four damage per character's level it's plus four now oh the one time it played it it wasn't uh hot number though so i guess you're right Yeah, I think I'm gonna get the deep strike, even though they can win. Nice too. Um, black market was nice because we get tokens there. I think. We could look at a lot of cards too, but. Hmm. Minus one stamina, goes in that life, three, three of those. We have, well, we don't want to heal on this then. Try to cripple to the AOE attack. What do we make cheaper? We could make a second wind free. Because even if I mess up, then we can still play whatever it draws. Yeah, I was thinking the same. <laughs> whatever. I mean, make that sword heal us even more. We're not using those though. Like, that does not seem worth it. Not with our party. Getting enough heal already. Three healing for one stamina is not worth it for us. Oh, we get to heal here because we can still. Oh, I don't want more chains. But I guess I want to see what's else there. Oh, it's true, it refunds, it doesn't make it free, true. But I'm more likely to have energy now when I play the second win. But yes, you're right. I didn't think about it that way. You're completely right. Oh, they did the guard thing, right? Yeah, they did the check thing. Um, also, challenge. I really like the card draw in the red powder too, though. Like, that's pretty neat. Oh no, he's gonna die. You won't get health from him. Oh no, we get... right, we get still get a chance to kill him. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Oh wait, they give us bleed, it doesn't matter. Huh. Jokes on you guys. We can still just do this. First. I don't know, I, I think we have a really good deck right now. At least I like it. We have too many chains, but you know, aside from that. enough space for all those cards now. Okay, this first. Still no other party members? Yep. Uh, the, yeah, the plan is to solo. Um, well, we're max level on this character. The health is so we got a um, we get a passive where whenever I kill an enemy, we get three max health. And since well, he's the only one who's killing things, we have a lot of extra health. We also have a really good deck, I think. Well, at least we have a lot of good things in the deck. I think it could still be better, but... Wait, can we kick him to the back so we can do the deep strikes? Those deep strikes hurt. But yeah, I deliberately played solo. I, I enjoy solo more, and I don't know, it's, it's a different kind of challenge. Mm. I don't know if we want another flurry, actually. I, I don't think so. It's nice, but it's not OP or anything. So we have, I can look at my character, uh, we have the Bloodthirsty perk. Whenever a character kills an enemy, we um, get three max health. Upper hand is good. Yeah, I it takes too long, like, my issue is upper hand doesn't do anything to survive the first few turns against the prince, for example. So, I don't care about it then. Like, I only want cards now that help increase the chances that we survive the early game. Sure, let's fight him. Oh, he's gonna provoke us, isn't he? Yeah. Can we kill one of those? We have the deep strike, maybe.
Oh yeah, I guess I evade too. And then they don't even provoke me. That's even better. I think, that, yeah, it, the, the card is really nice if it doesn't cost will. I don't know. I wish it wouldn't cost will to begin with. Maybe cost more energy than something to balance it, but... Oh. Well, I guess we... We still want the health though, so I still gotta finish him. I guess with more characters it's less of an issue because you have more will. We could have invested in will points too, but... Yeah. Didn't seem that useful on this character. really need to kick one like it's faster if we just keep them all in lane to be honest we're not really in danger of dying anyway. because now i can i mean the aoe and stuff to hit them but race as a ton it gives armor to ally Will to user. Okay, I mean that's pretty nice then, yeah. Yeah, I guess there's probably more combos than than I know about. Oh, the kick would have been nice for the deep strike though. I guess. Not that it makes a big difference. And, I mean, I probably still was faster this way because we got the overwhelm on everyone. Ooh, Salt does that. Heal 5 damage and apply 30. Damage. Interesting. Like, you equipped that as a weapon? I wonder if that still counts as dual building for um, our card. Sounds like sturdy armor with next to steps. Basically. I mean, yeah, it's sturdy. Well, it's, yeah, it's reduced damage on the army. Well, also the enemy loses 10 block um, and they cannot move if it's still applied. So it can actually be pretty decent. Yeah, you can only use it once, but I mean, I don't know if the dual wielding part applies if you have to equip or if this does not count as a dual wield weapon. Probably not. I don't know. I, I could see this as being decent. It is dual wield, but it is banishable. Hmm. I mean, it could be worth it. Like, you throw that on one person, it's 30... I mean, yeah, 30 damage reduction, 8 block for us, and they lose shield over time. Not bad. Yeah, I mean... I don't think it's good for me because of all the overwhelm we have. But if you weren't playing with overwhelm, I think it, I would probably switch this dagger, maybe. Unless we had a beat build. I don't think it's good for us, but... I could see it being useful. Um. Who do you escape? Get rid of all the chains. Oh, look at 
that chains. Unlimited. Oh, Drew, can you just keep going here and get more and more health? Like, do we cheese it? Jesus, good. <laughs> yes. Like, there's nothing that threatens us here anyway. Like, the worst thing that they do usually is bleed, but bleed is a complete non issue for me, right? So. Play the chains are win. Well, if I kill them all, I win. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I want to cheese it to be honest. See how I armor get. I guess we could. Yeah, we could see what the armor cap is, and then we kill them all. And again, with with this, we might just kill them randomly all. And again, we haven't played too many chains yet, so... forever to play cards. I wish the game was to smooth certain in regards to these things. My armor isn't going up that fast though. I guess. Well they're just still hitting me. Also a terrible order of playing cards. My guess would be 999 is the highest armor amount, but we'll see. Oh, I, I guess I shouldn't let them die to bleeding. Damage does take up. Really need to take care of them. The triple attack at least. Twenty. It's better when there's more of them, because then I can deal more damage. Funnily enough. Oh. 
order as usual. Well, if it gets goes above a thousand, we also empty fight. <laughs> I don't want to sit here forever. close to the max here. Yeah, if I <laughs> play an accidental challenge, we also don't check it, what the max block is. Play an accidental challenge and then just die. That would be very unfortunate. I don't know if I missed or if that... No, that is the max. Okay. Got it. Okay, we can end this. If I had 350... I don't know. Maybe if you take too long, like an even worse boss shows up. So, what happened? What does uh, happen in this fight if you... Like, if you don't have enough chains, so you can't play them fast enough, are you just stuck in this fight forever? Like, is that your life now? Um, I think we'll pass. I'm throwing some poison on him, but yeah. No. Wouldn't be surprised. It seems so. I feel like they should make it in a way that if you take too long, then a boss shows up. And if you kill that guy, then you just have infinite time to raise the gate. Or if you take too long, then you... The fight just ends and you auto fail, something like that. You can always die. Yeah, but I guess if your deck is good enough to not die, but yeah. Oh, we could remove two cards. What would we want to remove? I guess the guards, right? Maybe the rush. The solid footing is not great either, I guess. Oh, you kill 100 enemies and get the race gate race for free. That, yeah, it could, yeah, that, I guess that's what I meant with, like, I would just put one stronger enemy at the end, like, after 10 of the bears, there's one stronger, maybe twice as strong as a normal bear, nothing silly. And then once you kill him, you just win or just have, yeah, infinite time to play your chains. Um... I mean, the strategy isn't too great, but it banishes itself anyway. Yeah, I guess with the rogue armor and the guard is actually better than the solid footing if we have enough cards, which nowadays we sometimes have. So I guess maybe, maybe one guard in the solid footing. I mean, this blow isn't too great either anymore, to be honest. But neither is the rush. Then again, I mean, we get some charge sometimes. I don't always have all the weapons. Pick 
A regard is guard? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, guard is a better guard, so... Get rid of this, and then... One of this. I don't think there's going to be anything we want here, but maybe I, I haven't seen everything yet. Also, we get more health, I guess. Oh, another dagger. Oh, no. No. Adventurous gear sounds terrible. Never taking that. No. Should really use the challenge. We evaded again, thanks to them, I guess. to use the deep strike for this guy but you want the health so you here Could get a second deep strike. It is really nice damage. But I I don't wanna miss out on my challenge too often. No, I think I'll pass. Thunder? I, I don't think so. Like I have, I have no way of applying vulnerable. I don't think that's any good for us. Well, we need neither of those. I also, I feel like, I, I wish the X were shorter, to be honest. Like, obviously you would need to rebalance this, but like, make all the X like 25 to 50% shorter. That's a lot of damage there. Gotta take care of that. actually broke through. Okay, well, now they deal no damage. Guy. Take 
you back. Sometimes I don't hit turns for some reason. Okay, well, let's not deal with the reflect too much, maybe. Then again, we have to overpower on him already. Might just lay into him anyway. Have laid a trap. Oh, true. True. So much missed opportunities with the traps. Might get another kick. He also has 19 triple. Or you know we just It really wants me to get another Jeep strike, huh? But you use this three stamina cards after yeah, yeah. Again. <laughs> hmm. Fine, I'll take one. Oh, we're close to the finish. I mean, the, yeah, the withdraw is... If you draw it in the right moment, it's gonna be really nice. If not, then, well... It'll be a bit unfortunate. Oh, so close. Okay, um, anyway, strategy. Oh, we've drawn cards first. Let's get this. Three cost card is gonna be really nice actually. Okay. Probably gonna lose to something silly because I forget about one of the effects again on the final boss. Or the previous bosses. If I had another gem to reduce the willpower, I would get another one, I think. Imagine being the wolf warden and seeing a blood-soaked, overbuffed hare approaching the castle alone. <laughs> it is death. Incarnate. Yeah, I have to be careful with the banish effect. Um, for the warden, I have to be careful that he doesn't one-shot me. I mean, I guess he doesn't one-shot me, but I I don't want to lose half my health in that fight, for example. Like, there's a lot of things that, yeah, would not be ideal. There's not too much we can challenge.
this should probably be the one thing here. I mean, ideally we would have kept one alive, true, but... You know, we're doing pretty well. I think you can get, because get as much armor as he deals damage. Um, technically he, you're limited in the armor though, right? He could get more. I don't know if the enemies ever get more than the 120, but... And then, yeah, if I forget about it and don't fill it up or something. Then... But yeah, I mean, it. It should be fine if, if I don't make mistakes, then that fight should definitely be fine. That's asking me to not make mistakes though. Yeah, those is it's just I I wish it was which is one of the reasons why I wish like I wish the eggs were shorter and then you know balanced around it. Like, none of these fights matter, so that's why I'm just playing whatever. Again, this draw would be nice if we had another gem, but I don't, so. We're just getting some health and chances for cards, mostly. How would twos? Oh. Okay. Wait. There we go. actually like a decent amount of enemies like that could definitely hurt not sure why i was going for this guy might actually not be the best choice oh yeah because my block can't go higher than 120 probably still better to kill one of the other ones first to be honest and then just always copy his things. Yeah. I was hoping for um, Overwhelm to deep strike the back line, but I guess not. Oh no, he's gonna bleed to death. I have that. Yeah, I don't think it was the right choice to kill him first. I mean, it didn't matter. deck isn't everything it's actually they're putting up a fight I want to say 
Yeah, I don't have infinite armor or anything. Not that we were in danger, but... Thanks. We're so close. I'm tired of fights. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't get lazy now, but I don't want to do end of fights anymore. I could have, yeah, that's true. I could have played it a lot better. Oh, here we go. Let's see if there's anything else to buy. Ooh, there is more powder. I'm tempted to pick them up. I just don't know if we lose too much card draw if we pick him up. Well, I'm actually considering bows, because, I mean, this one leaves vulnerable on them, which is still good. What do we have for card draw? This one... I guess we have the second wins. And this red powder draws cards. Prefer the instant large damage, not sure the pink one is good enough. Yeah. Oh yeah, Arsenal gives us one too. It's a toss-up, I think. I think the balancing is off too? Yeah, in general, yeah. yeah we're going we're going red. Enter the courtyard. Okay, so we gotta be careful with the banish here, right? So maybe we kill him first, to be honest. I might get rid of the rush. Yeah, we don't need to rush. Let's get that banished. Copy your armor. first turn and he dies too like I don't care that we don't get the health from him he dies oh we got two deep strikes too oh yeah, I guess I'm still lost in her I can't use him on him actually because he'll take Right, he had the uh, damage convert over. If you deal more than 25 damage, it'll be converted. Dry dice. Ah, uh, it says damage. I don't know. It's more than 25 damage from a single attack, so I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna find out. Good 
It could be, it could not be. I don't know if we can dodge a thing actually. We need more card draw. I mean, I can't have more than 120 armor. I need to reduce this guy's armor too, so he can't copy as much. Yeah, he's gonna copy now. I don't... So, does he lose armor if he has less than 117 armor? Is that how it'll work? It says steel store, so I don't know if it just adds it then or not. Oh, he adds it? Okay. Well, we'll have to do some damage to him. Unfortunate. Or we just dodge his attack. So, still dropping it a bit, just in case. I mean, we could find out if he adds armor. Yeah, see, he got more armor despite it being... I guess I don't know how much would have been vitality damage. But... Oh, I'm still gonna kill the front row. I was never worried about that. But I guess it wasn't conclusive what I did, so... Oh, that was too much damage too? Gonna play New World on stream merge? Um, probably not. I tried it a bit off um, stream. I I don't think it's a. Uh, I I would enjoy it too much. I don't. I'm not a fan of the combat system, to be honest. I think the flurry would flurry would deal too much damage. Yeah, I I guess we don't apply the overwhelm. We'll just heal the guy. Oh, that's too much damage too. I don't think I like the that he adds the excess damage as block. Like it punishes you for having a good tank, I guess. Or makes it awkward killing him. And then you can't bleed him if he's too high health either. Like, I don't think he's super hard, but it's just awkward, I think. I think I've never lost to him. I've lost the character to him though. That was annoying. Yeah, I, I mean, I could calculate this better and deal a bit more damage, but... To play some red power at the end of... That's true, we could also do that. There we go. No issues with him. Let's 
let's heal for 100 percent spy master again maybe we'll have issues with him this time who knows grand total of zero or we healed for 458 it was just all over here hmm. well, he might be in trouble already because that deep strike is gonna murder him I yeah see spy master died without doing anything <laughs> as usual they really need to change this spy master somehow. I don't know. Oh boy. Everything costs so much already. And we didn't draw good cards. Well, I guess we go for the shadows, right? So both lanes are active. We can't kill him until all King's Guard are dead. King's Guard increase our stamina cost for cards. Good amount of damage that we can't dodge. No, Overwhelm will also not stay as long now. Well, I... Yeah, I didn't even draw one of the red powders with card draw, like, that's really... really unfortunate. Shadows will move. Bleed powder raid. Yeah, I was thinking I, I got two both bleed powders. Um, the raid. That's eight. And then I guess we play the momentum. That was my plan. Yeah, at least we don't die to their initial damage. Because we don't get enough block this turn either. Like, that's the issue. Like, there's so much better cards we could have drawn, unfortunately. We didn't. I guess I could momentum first, actually. Yeah. Do that. Like, it's, it's decent for the AoE. They're pretty low. I guess the thing, we didn't draw the challenge in the first turn, so we'll take a ton of damage. And if you... If you don't have enough health, like you just die the first turn. Yeah. We would have just died here, like first turn, <laughs> if we didn't have so much health. So, yeah. Oh, I don't like this strategy. Let's see what we can draw. Not what I hoped for. Next card is free, though. No, I, they still have the Overwhelm, so they should die to this and this, right? Or even this. They have six Overwhelm, so the Vanguard would be... Oh, I'm not in the front lane, actually. Hundred fifty more damage, so the Vanguard wouldn't kill. Well, I guess we do the sickle to kill him, dagger to kill him. We have six energy left, meaning we could still play everything, right? Do they do 40 damage? Oh, it flies crippling. 
home. Oh, they'll give us hidden strikes too. Oh, they'll also start provoking at some point. Okay. Yeah, sickle first because it's higher cost. Actually, if I do red powder first, is it enough to vanguard this guy then? It's nine, so this should be enough. And I get strategy. And I guess this is our first target here. Damages. I'm still not drawing a challenge. Well, I, I mean, I guess we draw more if I do the red powder. And he still has overwhelm, so. What do I do? Lane attack. Target, target, target. Okay, we, I guess we move out of the way too. Okay, there's a challenge. We probably should do that. on me too. I still think it's better to move them. So it wasn't a mistake. Front row will lose the overhaul. Best damage to him. Oh, we evaded everyone. Like, <laughs> that skill is really hard. It costs us five energy to play this. Like, oh, we can second wind and play it though. That would be nice. Oh, I should have gone for the back line actually because of the deep strikes. Like it's harder to kill this guy. But we already took a hundred off his armor, so I guess we stay there. Oh, another deep strike. Then again, 15 damage isn't that terrible. Maybe I take the damage and play the quick hands instead. Okay, got a kick. Well, I guess we're playing it anyway. I wonder if it's still better to do the deep strike on the back lane. I guess so. Warrior. Oh, yes. Still meet this force stacks for when it's applied to the attacker. Oh, we don't want to deal with that. We can always copy his armor, so we could, yeah, we could do the deep strikes on this guy. The dungeon oh, Lord, thanks for the 16 months. I mean, he gives us the hidden strikes, but, which is actually not too bad. Yeah, the crippled actually is going to stack up more and more, like, it might become an issue. Yeah, I, I mean, I still play this, like, there's nothing else to do. Yeah, like, you can't do a movement build. This guy is going to murder you if you do a movement build, actually. Challenge again if you want. I'm gonna take the damage, I think. 
maybe it's better to go for damage too. It's 15 damage even lies. Ooh, he's gonna apply too overwhelmed to us. I don't know which row is active now. It's weird that the debuffs still stay longer, like, despite both lanes attacking. Yeah, they shouldn't, right? We do draw cards with this, so I might play this first. Well, I guess if I challenge, I need to challenge first. Hmm. There must be three, six, nine. Like, we're already out of yeah, energy after that. I guess we do challenge. Oh, we got a cheaper one though. But then if I play this, what do I attack with though? That's the other issue. Do they still move? Oh, he's gonna move me actually. Oh, that's a good amount of damage too. I could discard one card and then do a sickle attack, I guess. I mean, I'm in the front line too, I could go with this, the Vanguard. Yeah. That was not much damage though. This fight is ridiculously overhuman. I think the biggest problem is you take so much damage in the first turn that you're kind of guaranteed to lose a character. I think it might be fine afterwards, but even then, if you don't have the challenging, like, it might just be ridiculous. Oh no, he's gonna apply Vanguard to us, right? So, if, if I play another Red Powder, he's gonna do that. But we could stack this really high and maybe kill him. So we could do red powder, red powder. Do the blow to get two stamina. Oh no, maybe the flurry first. Then the blow and then the dagger. We could draw a card with second wind first actually. And make one of those three. Ooh. Let's draw. I could also withdraw, I guess. We take 40 damage, no, 30 damage, but we dodge 40, dodge this and this. Yeah, it's, I guess that's worth it. We still do... Next turn is kind of fun. Oh, I should have done withdraw first because we would have gotten five charge. My bad. And I guess we also we go front line so Vanguard deals more. Hey Beard, how's it going? 
There's also a guard brace the bench which copies neighbor and Alice armor. You have two bears with 150 armor. Okay, yeah, that's not bad either. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's some brace around, but I still this fight is so much harder than anything we did before. Like it's it's a bit silly, and you still run the risk like if you don't draw the right cards in the first turn, you might just lose one or two characters and lose the fight there. Like I I think this fight. Either this fight is overtuned or everything beforehand is undertuned. Pick which you want, but yeah. Um well, we don't care about oh we only have six energy. Um let's do the second wind. Okay. And we can dodge again. I'll take the damage. I mean, he dies to bleed. Can we just kill oh, the prince? Oh no, we can't. He can't drop below 30 as long as they're alive. Oh, I guess now I can't copy the armor anymore though. Yeah, I shouldn't have lowered this guy, but I think it's fine. It's opening. <laughs> We're hopping in. He needs to know what hit him. Oh, the overwhelm stayed here. Yeah, I, I should keep better track of that too, I guess. Mm -hmm. like you're winning though. Hey Jeff, well I, I need to win my solo run here. But, you know, enemies to kill, places to be. It should be enough, so I guess we could use this here. This guy. Yeah, we're good. I like it. Um, well, let's. Now we don't need the challenges anymore. More card draw. I don't think that would be enough. You don't want to waste. It was a terrible turn, but now a terrible turn is fine. We're, we're out of the woods, I think. The second wind is really good here too actually especially the one that we make cheaper that only costs us one like that's giving us so much value i wish i could kick this guy back that would be really nice too Doesn't really matter what we do. Yeah, there's, it's uh, yeah, it's silly that you take a skill basically purely. I mean, second wind is still good. It's I don't know. It's basically you. Yeah, worst case, you play an extra card which we don't need it. Best case, it makes something cheaper. I think the copy armor I don't like that you kind of want that no matter what. I guess it could kick you back. Uh, stuff is cheap. Take the 
take a skill test for the hardiness. Yeah, but uh, but just because you do it there doesn't mean I like it either. <laughs> like I feel like the challenge is only good. You need it for this fight, and it's a dead card in most a lot of the other times. I don't know. I still don't like it. Even even if you do it in other games, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of the heart in Slay the Spire either, to be honest, so... There's that. There we go! Some of the victory with the... with the hair. Actually, my first uh, victory against the Brents. Brents lays ahead of you, mortally wounded, but still breathing. Whilst Blackfoot is victorious, but the fate of this Ender must be settled. Prince lay slouched against the base of the throne, clutching his wounds. So does Landon plan to bury my city too, or conquer it? You don't respond. Our house had worked for far too long. He spits the still managing draw breath. So many years of bloodshed. My father dreamt of peace, but could never see a means to it. It brought him great sadness and longing. So I vowed it would be my legacy. I would bring us peace, make my father proud. But then Landon came back to Black Church. My father began to regain hope. He'd say the great Landon was a leader with whom he could broker a peace. He spoke with such admiration love, love he had never directed at his son, for a man he had never met. His voice takes a darker tone. So I burned your black church to the ground until the sky went black until you couldn't breathe through the ash. But when I returned from that victory, I did not see bright in his eyes. No, he wouldn't even meet my gaze. Ruin. He kept saying, as if in a trance. You've brought ruin and nothing more. He foresaw all this, that Landon would come for me, that you would all come for me. He noted more virtues and qualities of your people that night than he had ever mentioned of me. I couldn't bear to hear it, so I did what I did. Then I was rewarded for my sins, of course. A festival held in his honor, the bitter irony of it. Even now, out there in the streets, they celebrate his name, the sing-songs of the noble king. The just king. Virtues I do not possess. They loved my father, but they will never love me. Well, you know, maybe you shouldn't have started a war. So what will it be? He continues after a long pause. What fate awaits me? King is from the city walls. Malefax shall have his soul. Hand him over to the people. They will decide his fate. He'll help rebuild what he burned. Grant him his life. I feel like, you know, rune, rune it shall be. So my soul shall burn too, he growls. Perhaps that is fitting. To draw your blade, the sky darkens, the light of dawn fades from the great hall. A flock of crows rush across the black sky. It is done. Yeah, I, I think the key for winning was, well, getting more help, like that um, passive, because we would have died in the first turn to the prince. And then the sickle, getting the sickle was really good for us too, and all those black powders. Yeah, he killed his own father though, and started the war with us, it seems, so you know, it seems kind of justified. 